artist. They had no visions, no great ideas. Their love for the art is in painting compressed. When the madness around them, spiritual gears, rides victoriously, get you right on the crest of the wave of money, and camera flashes. Their dreams for success are turning to ashes. For the world is for those who bully and clown. But the true get a feel of the same. Crush down, they live in the poverty. Often ignored, letting color and light be their own. Yet the critics of art ridicule them and mock just because they have no intentions to rock with some quirky ideas the foundations of art. All they have is a glow inside their heart. At the sight of the beauty created by God. This becomes nowadays pathetically odd. When one still is alive, but once you are dead, there's your chance to propel to the height of a star, your sunflower suddenly turn into bread. Stick layers of butter, spread this caviar. Or the petty dealers with eyes so shrewd. But it wasn't caviar that these artists pursued when they painted the picture and searched for a few. It's the truth of their feelings, the sense of the mood that was guiding the brush that inspired to paint. For this task they were, by heavens, for they. Their paintings today create a score with new trends to derive the spark that are holy. For the public of us is too easily bored and demands entertainment by seeking some folly of the evil in us, of a sensual shock. And for this, the committees are ready ad hoc. They're giving the prizes for those who sell cows for all the hide or sickly tell for the most of and wonderful shit. Tin and sign by Conman with a genuine wit. Log and wisdom. Obscenity stretches its nets for the young and vulnerable, and now it sets traps in tenets of fine art education by alluring their minds towards degradation of the spirit of truth, of the spirit of love and betrayal of self, of the voice from above. Yet the art isn't dead. No, no, not yet. Let the world wage its wars with its mighty swords. By the spirits employing the art that it holds, let the mind perverse prosper, wane and walk. Those longing for beauty have no reasons to break. Catching moments eternal is the more words effect. In this world or the other, they will have their hour. So then zealously hate, being absorbed in the glorious beauty of a splendid.